President Buhari don't condemn the killing of 12 people inside Plateau State. NUC don't scrap study of mass communication for Nigerian universities. Court don't send the DG National Council for Arts and Culture, Rushaway, go jail, sake of say it is obey court. And police don't line up agro boys where attack people where they collect revenue money for FCT. Good afternoon, my country people, and thank you so you join us for As It Take Happen on top of Zobia Max TV. My name is Nana Douglas. And for the first story, we are carrying on for now. President Muhammad Buhari don't condemn the one-way government attack people for Thursday, can kill 12 people and wound just one person for Kulben village of Kumbun district for Mangu local government area inside Plateau State. On top one statement, with senior special assistant to pres president on top media and publicity, Garba Sheh Hussain, the latest killing don't shock President Muhammad Buhari. The statement talks say Oga President don't contact the state governor will be Simon Lalong and military people and even police plus including other security joint body inside the state to get the full gist as it take happen, what in cause the attack and how it take happen, what they need to do so that this kind of badness attack no go happen again tomorrow. He can tell security people inside the state, say, may they increase their security work so that the madness where bad people they attack innocent communities go sharply stop. And for the next one, Nigerian police force never still follow up on top one case where we say one police officer killed in colleague can kill himself for Duse Alaji Police Division inside the FCT. Our Wazobia Max TV correspondent Solomon Ndahi, they for FCT police headquarters and as he don't set to give us latest update on top of the badness. I will come back to that one. Make we move to the next story. National Universities Commission will be joint body of universities inside Nigeria. Talks say they don't break mass communication to seven separate degree programs to meet the current demand. This one means say the study of mass communication degree for Nigerian university don't expire. What it means say when the young with Tory people inside Abuja for Thursday, NUC Executive Secretary Professor Abubakar Rashid talks say the seven new programs or departments go there for faculty, school or college of communication and media studies, na journalism and media studies, public relations, advertising, broadcasting, film and multimedia studies, development communication studies, information and media studies. Professor Rashid add this one, say talk say this one go sharply from, start from the 2020 university admission this year. And still for another one we resemble Lamb, mama and papa don't they raise a lamb, they squeeze face, sake of say, they are picking, they suffer, suffer. On top, uh, the one will be said, they won't get this national identity management uh, uh, ID card so that they will fit right the uh, one where they call UTME. Some of them, they accuse people where they for NIMC say, then they collect a gunje, aka a bribe from their children. Even as other people, don't they cry, say, NIMSI make everything about the collection of national ID card hard like Zuma Rock. Our Wazobia Max TV correspondent, Clementine Okoye, tell us more. Okay, Clementine, good afternoon this afternoon. How are you doing? Clementine, good afternoon. Okay, if I like, say Clementine never ready for us, we'll come back to her later, later uh, for the bulletin. And for the next one, we'll consign the DG of the National, uh, the DG uh, of uh, National Council for Arts and Culture. One FCT High Court don't tell Director General, National Council for Arts and Culture, Otumba Olushegun Rushewe, say make he go spend holiday for prison, sake of say he disobey court. Judge where they handle the matter just since Judo KK talks say Rushaway, Rushaway disobey court on top one matter where they bring against them and three other people sake of the demolition of Arts and Crafts Village where they inside this central business district for Abuja. The court talks say Rushaway get mind disobey one other way court give for December 15, 2017 where talk say make it no go ahead with the demolition of the village. The court come order Inspector General of Police to make them arrest and hand them over to Nigerian Correctional Service, aka Kuje Prison, Abuja, where he go they, they do vacation until he realize what he didn't do. 
And as it be, make we go Lagos, go see how the, um, the UTME and national ID card matter, they happen. Good afternoon, Clementine. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, what do you go tell us about uh, the national uh, ID card for students who want right jump now? What will be the latest update for the matter? Okay, as, as we think they right now, we say people need to go here. The student needs to come right, they come register for their national identity number. You remember, say jam don't talk, say without this number, they go to the future jam. And this student, they, they come every day for this. But the system is too slow. I make them go fit register up till now. So now, the jam will start on the one day. This student will be federal government. Maybe I'm sure so this will be easier so that they will fit register for jam. Because without this number, they will be fit register. As you can see, the student plays for my back. The student plays even outside there. The student there everywhere. Because without this number, they, they cannot do this jam. And it is what happened to them at the end of the day. So we they call upon federal government, make them have been still this uh, matter. Make the people fit register on time. Clementine, the point reporting for Azubia TV. Okay, no, um, I won't ask you one question before you go. Uh, the one will be said and accuse the NIMSI people said that they collect a gunje bribe from the uh, students. You feel confirm that one? You don't confirm, say, true, true, that they collect a bribe from these students? I know slow, but what I know be say the student play? I know slow, but what I know be say the student play to the ground? I mean, I don't see anybody who collect bribe. Right from the gate, they will access them, 100, 100, they will enter. Go they do their this but they are too much. And, and, and another issue is say no sleep, no paper for Lagos. So even when they finish, they will see wait until they bring paper from Abuja, where they will print out their number. So I, I don't know how the student will fit a register for this jam if they look quick in the process. Okay, thank you, Clementine, for that uh, update where you give us all the way from Lagos will be the center of excellence. And for the next story, federal government on direct national broadcasting commission will be NBC, seeming they implement the 70% local content inside broadcasting under the new broadcast regulation. That meaning, say, waiting then go the show for TV and radio for Nigeria, now 70% of waiting concern Nigeria. Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohamed, give this order today. The new regulation can the vex on top, the one where we say people or stations, they illegally use people music, and they know they pay the owners of the music, what they call royalties. Plus, including, say, then, uh, then go end the one where broadcast stations go to talk, saying that only then get the right to show sports, especially when it be live sports event and machetra. And from here, I make we enter Kano State. And for what they happen for Kano State, Kano State government don't show their concern, sake of the one where they discover do Mercy Orphanage home. Where they talk saying an illegal orphanage home, where they for no man's land, and it don't they operate for more than 25 years without any license from the state government. According by one statement, we'll be saying a special advisor to the state governor on top child welfare and women mobilization, Fatima Abdullahi Dalla sign. The orphanage will also get office inside Kaduna, claim say they register them under non-governmental organization. The statement can describe the situation as disregard by the founders and operators of the center to constituted authority, meaning say people will get the orphanage, they look down on government as, as in waiting Unagofi do. When they give in toilet to Kano State Police Command and the Zona Command of NAPTIP, sake of say they discover the orphanage home, the statement talks say, make they not look the matter with eyes of religion, ethnic or regional sentiment, but make Nigerians clap for people who discover the illegal home. Because according by the statement, the action of the orphanage they against the children of the state. Wazobia Max TV correspondent Dumebi Odumegu give us more update on top of this one. Okay, if I say we'll come back to that one. For the next story, FCT Police Command for Abuja don't line up 14 Aguro boys will attack people where they work for the Department of Outdoor Advertisement and Signage on top who get right to collect mo mo mobile advert money from company Moto with them brand. When they parade them for the Police Command Headquarters inside Gariki for Thursday, FCT Commissioner of Police Balachiro Matoxi, 
The boys who they suspect sin and thoughts pose as people who they collect revenue to steal money with style from people and also attack them. According by the CP, the suspects will then recruit from different parts of the country, then arrest them for 7th of January when they receive one phone call say Agbure boys will reach 16 for number, don't attack and wound just some government officials with then attached to FCTA Department of Outdoor Advertisement and Signage, DUAS, and some journalists with the for duty posts inside Wuye. Wazobia Max TV correspondent John Emmanuel completed the story. The FCT Police Commissioner, Bawa Chiroma, come follow your Emmanuel. the command. Emmanuel, come follow Very soon. Apart from that, the police command don't carry their nets and hook. They find two other suspects where we say, now them organize this group of talks with the Wile people for road. And the names of these two suspects where escape, now Terry Okon and Samuel Ele Ashegbe. The suspects were arrested on the 7th of January, 2020 at about 2.30 p.m. for the distress call that hoodlums numbering about 16 assaulted and inflicted varying degree of injury on government officials attached to the FCT Department of Outdoor Advertisement and Sinage. When you can advise residents of FCT say may they not put their hand for issues or matter, we go land them for inside police nets. Chiroma talks say the command also recover one Toyota Hayas boss where the suspects use go the place where they commit this crime. A Toyota Hayas boss was used in conveying the suspects to the scene has been recovered as exhibits. The command is making concerted efforts to arrest the leaders of the syndicate, Terry Oka and Emmanuel L. Esebe, who are now at large. These talks been attacked the officials of the Department of Outdoor Advertisement and Signages when we they try to stop them from obtaining people on the 7th of January this year. Them claim say them they work with the Abuja Municipal Area Council and say their work now to the help Amak they collect tax on advert matter. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And that report from John Emmanuel of, of Wazobia Max TV. But Shapali make we carry on our enter canal for that report we are telling us. Say one do, um, do, uh, do mercy of an age home where they suspect an illegal home. They don't arrest them. Make we hear our uh, Wazobia Max TV correspondent for Kano State. Uh, make uh, she tell us the update on top of this matter. Good afternoon, Dumebi. Good afternoon to you too. Now, what you go tell us about uh, the one with the here say you get one suspected illegal orphanage home for Kano with an arrest. What him, uh, you go fit tell us uh, something about that one? Uh, you know, say on Monday, the commissioner, the special advisor on top of children welfare matter, they carry work together with a Kano State Police Command, another security joint body. They can't go raid one illegal orphanage home. We don't they open the canal for like 25 years. And the name now do mercy and they for no man's land inside Kano State. So as a call carry worker go there, then talk say this orphanage home, then they operate. But government not give them license. So who can give them authority to do the work with them they do? Who give them authority to they carry children up and down, they take care of the children? Now on top of this matter, so many people they suspect say, ah, if you be saying a bad bad uh, backyard worker, then they use the children, they do. But uh, currently we're there for Kano State Police Command because uh, the DSP, uh, Abdullah Harun and the joint body talk talk officer, he may follow on top of the worker where they use take enter inside the orphanage. So he won't give us updates now on top of this gist, but uh, based on one or two, he talks say you know if he follows life. But what he talk we say the joint body now don't they do investigation to know one or two things and if truly the management of the orphanage their hand dirty on top of anything may consign maybe like human traffic and um, child trafficking maltreatment and other things instead of go carry them enter a court of lawyer okay uh, what you will tell us about uh, the welfare okay. of these children the welfare of the children in question you, then they do well i be you see say they know they take care of them well apart from say they send an illegal orphanage home what will be their welfare Well, the special advisor, you know, to give us a full gist about maybe that they give the children food well, a bit that they take care of them, a bit that they use them do house, uh, baby or more though. They're not to give us into They never even give us the number of the children where they discover inside this uh, backyard of an age home where they operate without license. But anyhow, which way, as in they bring them before Material Max TV, they carry and come in at the month. Thank you, Dumebi, for that uh, update of information about the illegal home where they um, arrest for inside Kano State. And for the next story, FCT fire service don't give assurance to people where they live for Abuja, say they're ever ready to tackle any kind of fire will go happen for this Hamatan season. 
the service acting director, Sani Saidu. We yarn this one when he yarn face to face with Wazobia Max TV. Talk say the service don't make every cadet arrangement, plus including how they, uh, they buy Obonge equipment to fight fire. And he said they don't even train their men, especially on top how they go take show fire pepper. He can't they beg FCT say make them cooperate and support the service for the work within they do. Make we hear. Her. So this is a period that is uh, characterized by outbreak of fire uh, uh, incidents. So and, uh, we cannot just relay and then sit in the office and then now without mobilizing our staffs and to be on alert of any sort of fire outbreak. So we have to go around. Eh? Although in the area councils, we have the area commanders that also articulate what is happening there. All the DA forces on their, their territory report to them. Then, as you can see, the vehicles here. This is to show you that we are 100% ready for any sort of kind of fire outbreak. Eh? We are 100% ready and we are willing to serve the public effectively. Let them just put a call to us and they will see what we can do. And for another Tori, we resemble that one. FCT Emergency Management Agency, what they call FEMA, don't assure people where they live for Abuja. Say, sake of heavy rain, where they spoil things for people, they don't they prepare to make sure say they control the rain where they go come for 2020, so that flooding will happen for 2019, no go repeat itself. Director General for FEMA, Abbas Idris, talks say, as part of their plans to pursue flooding come out for FCT, this year, the John body don't discover waiting, uh, waiting they cause Nyamanyama flood, and they don't they do everything within their power to stop them. Make we hear them. I am assuring the residents of the FCT that all those areas identified in 2019, uh, we don't see a repetition of flooding in those areas again. Um, Galadima roundabout was as a result of the construction going on, and uh, by the grace of God, before the next raining season, that place will be completed and open to public for um, uh, movement. And uh, Lokogoma issue is an issue of lack of infrastructure. And that one too is being addressed by the Federal Capital Territory Development uh, Agency, FCDA, and other relevant agencies. Uh, our own recommendation is to really pull down all the buildings at Lokogoma and put a new structure with all the facilities before allocating the houses. This is subject to uh, what the administration of the FCTA will do. But uh, as far as we are concerned, we, we will, uh, whatever we think can save life, that is what we are going to inform the administration. And as far as talk say the John body don't take their position, especially as it concern how to respond to any disaster and how to stop anything we will bring hardship for people. Made a lot of uh, impact uh, efforts. As I'm talking to you, we have um, carried out the vulnerability and capacity assessment of the FCT, and we have also did the hazard mapping of the entire FCT. The essence is to identify which area is prone to what. So if we find out that Lokogoma is prone to flood, we should be able to know when there is a, an early warning that there is going to be flood. Our own concentration should be at Lokogoma. If we discover that uh, Kubwa is prone to fire, then we should be able to concentrate also and give them that and apart from that we have built a portal a response portal that you can send SOS very soon we are going to uh, uh, to commission it my country people make not forget say one of the watch as it take happen on top was Zobia Max TV will they come back with business news <music> Thank you.
And inside the world of business, Nigeria Communication Commission, that one at NCC, and group of companies, Toxi, then go raise 265 billion naira to carry develop broad, broadband infrastructure across the country for the next four years. Broadband get to do with internet things. Executive Vice Chamo for NCC, Professor Umar Dambata, we yarn this one for a Thursday talk say based on when Federal Executive Council go approve counterpart funding, the commission go raise 65 billion naira on top of the level. It talks say infrastructural companies go arrange balance of 200 billion naira. Professor Dambata yarn this one when Ambassador of Sweden to Nigeria calls grants visitor for NCC headquarters inside Abuja. According by him, the public-private partnership project agree with the state accelerated broadband initiative where they bring to address the one where we say telecommunications sector they lack infrastructure. It talks that the project will happen for 36 states inside the country, plus including the federal capital territory and the 774 local government council inside Nigeria. It remains sports news with a comeback. The management of the National League don't announce it. They don't suspend the country's second tier football league after they go for two weeks break for December 22, 2019. According to the statement, we'll be saying that NNL media officer Ama Igni signed the league was supposed to kick start today, go now resume for time where me and you never know. He talks that this suspension happened for the sake of the current discussion between NNL management and other Obonge gen body where they under the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF. On top of some kind of matter where people will get club and people where they manage club race for one meeting will happen inside Abuja. He still talks say NNL go they contact clubs and people will sabi for the game where Oyibo they call stakeholders when the league resume, especially as soon as they agree for some kind of certain areas on top peace meeting with authorities. Now the story be that, but make a nakuna our top story again. President Buhari on the squeeze face on top of the killing of 12 people inside Plateau State. John Body of NUC don't scrap the study of mass communication for Nigerian universities. And of course, don't send DG, National Council for Arts and Culture, Rushewe, go jail, sake of say, he disobey courts. And police don't line up Agbero boys where attack people where they collect money, revenue for FCT. Now the size of our package be that. Thank you, say you follow watching the news. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.